Hello and welcome to our third paperless for Windows tutorial. In this tutorial we'll cover some of the advanced features. Let's get started. Now paperless serves as an electronic filing cabinet to store your important documents and we provided the flexibility to organize your files in a way that is meaningful to you. Now just like any physical file cabinet, your virtual drawers and file folders can be arranged and labeled any way that you want. It's up to you. Let's get specific though. For instance, you could be a teacher and you might want to store your lesson plans and homework assignments. You could also be a musician and want to store your sheet music by era and by composer. You could also be a writer and want to organize your short stories, novels, and screenplays by genre. Or you could be a parent who wants to store your children's immunization records and report cards by age. Now just as we discussed in the last tutorial, you might want to export your receipt information into a program such as Quicken. To that end, you could organize your files by year, by month, and then by category. Use your imagination and spend some time deciding on a game plan to organize your documents right now. The first way to store your document files and paperless is through the use of folders. Now say for instance you wanted to organize your receipts by year. The first thing you could do is create a folder called 2011 or whatever date you want to use. From the file menu, choose new folder. Now, give your folder a name and then click on the OK button. Next, let's talk about collections. Now there are three types of collections in Paperless. The regular collection, which is more of a standard folder in which you can store various things. The smart collection, where you can create a filtered view or a collection based on currently selected items. To create a regular collection from either the file menu at the top or the quick menu at the bottom, choose new collection. Next, give the collection a name and then click on the OK button. To create a collection based on selected items, first select the items you want to appear in the collection. Then, from the file menu, choose new collection from selection. Give your collection a name, and then click the OK button. Now let's talk about the third type of collection, the Smart Collection. This is where you can get really specific and filter your collection based on a set of criteria. To create a Smart Collection, either from the File menu or by right-clicking on the Collections icon, select New Smart Collection. Now give your Smart Collection a name. Next, select whether or not you want your Smart Collection to be based on any criteria or specify that it must match all of the criteria. Next, go to the Field Type and choose a field to base your criteria. Now, use the Qualifier pull-down menu. Finally, add in any specific criteria. Now you can also add additional criteria by clicking the Add button to the right. Finally, click the OK button. Now Paperless allows you to easily import files of different file types, including JPEG and PDF files, into your libraries. There are many ways to import files into Paperless. You can drag and drop the file onto a library's view pane, and you can also import files via the File menu by doing the following. From the File menu, choose Import. Next, choose the item or items to import, and then finally click the Open button. Now Paperless allows you to export an item or folder of items from your library. To export an item or folder, first select the item or folder that you want to export. Now from the File menu choose Export. Select a location for the file and click OK. A dialog box will prompt you to confirm your export if your selected destination is not an empty folder. You'll also be notified when your export is complete. Paperless will export two files for each item. A PDF file of the item itself and an XML file containing the metadata you assign to your item from the library. Now let's talk about exporting paperless files to Quicken files. Keep in mind that this only applies to library receipt files. In order to set up paperless to properly work from Quicken, first, from the View menu, choose Show Library Configuration. Next, click on the Payment Methods tab. Now for each payment method, select the type that corresponds to the account type in Quicken. 
make sure that each payment method corresponds exactly to an account in Quicken. If you need to change the name of a payment method, it will automatically change all the receipts that use that payment method. Now let's go over to the General Fields tab. Make sure that each category corresponds exactly to a category in Quicken. Changing the name of a category automatically updates all the receipts that use that category. Now if you use subcategories in Quicken, create categories in Paperless separating the category and subcategory with a colon. Now to export an item or folder into a Quicken QIF file, first select the item you would like to export and then from the file menu choose Export to QIF. Now select the destination for the resulting QIF file. Choose a file name and then click Save. Finally, launch Quicken and then import the file you've just created. To create a report, from the File menu choose Reports. Next, click the Add button. A sheet appears. Now configure what your report will display based on any number of criteria. Select which items you wish to include in your report by specifying the field such as Category, the type of match such as Equals, and the condition from the drop-down menu. You can also add and remove conditions by using the plus and minus buttons and also specify whether all or any of the criteria should be met. Finally, click Done. To view an existing report, from the File menu, choose Reports. Now either double-click on the file name or select it and click the Show Report button at the bottom right-hand corner of the window. The report will display as an HTML file in your default web browser such as Internet Explorer. Now to edit a report, select the report and then click the Report Editor button to launch the Quick Reporting window. Finally, to print reports, from the File menu choose Reports. Next, select a report. Click the Show Report button or double-click the report in the list. Finally, from your Browser's menu choose Print. To combine library files, first select the files you wish to combine. Next, from the Edit menu choose Combine Documents. Paperless will combine the files and then confirm the selections were combined. Now to split a multiple page library file, first select the file that you wish to split. Next, from the Edit menu choose Split Document. Enter the number of pages you wish to show in each split document. Finally, click OK. OK, so that's it for this tutorial. For more information, please consult our user's guide. You can also access our knowledge base on our website or email us with any questions. We're happy to help. For now, though, make your office a paperless office.